And joining us now, one of the many heroes for the Philadelphia Phillies in Game 3 of this World Series, Bryce Harper. Bryce, congratulations. Five home runs. It was an entire team attack. Has your team ever played a baseball game at this level collectively like they did tonight? Yeah, I mean, I think it started from, you know, pitch one. I mean, all night long. I mean, from getting out here with our fan base and, um, you know, them showing up for us each night, just, just the opportunity to play in front of them has been great. Um, and as a team, you know, we just tried to go out there and not let them get as comfortable as possible. You know, I think when a pitcher gets comfortable and kind of sits down into a stadium, it, it's good for them. And, you know, we didn't want that to happen tonight. That's a really good postseason pitcher over there. It's a really good postseason team over there. So um, we were able to jump on them early and, and keep it going. For, for me, it's always been fun to watch you do your thing on the field. I've always thought you was that guy. I always knew you were him. I appreciate it. But for me, the the growth, the maturity that you can, you continue to exude, as soon as you hit that home, you go straight to your teammates and you're sharing information. How important is this postseason for you? You you want everything that you can win. How important is it for you guys to bring back a championship to Philly? That's what it's all about. I mean, that's why you play the game. That's why you show up to spring training and you have an ultimate goal of winning a championship. And this 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 city and this town is starving for that, right? And I think as a as an organization, we're all starving for that as well. So this is all about all of us. This is about the fan base. This is about 46,000 people plus 26. We're all in this together. We're all you know grinding each day. They're with us each day. Um, and it's just a lot of fun to be able to come into the bank and, and play in front of them. And we've got a home crowd, man. That it's it's tough to play here, and you know we're excited to be here and excited for the opportunity. Bryce, I, I'm always paying attention to little details. And, and I, I, I saw the kind of a bats that you guys took against Verlander the first day. Second day, Frambo, a different cat. Lefty on lefty and you and Schwaber. But this time, McCullers. You guys seem to be on every breaking ball, every pitch he threw out there. You really made it tough for him. Did, did facing the, the amount of breaking balls you saw from Verlander and Frambo help you out to face McCullers today? Yeah, I mean, I, I think we just try to flush those games as, as quick as possible, right? So Verlander's really good. We know he's going to be good. Framber, I mean, he threw as good as you could. I mean, he threw the ball really, really well against us. And then today, it was a new page, right? I mean, we come into our ballpark. This is where we love to play. This is where we love to be. Um, and we're just excited for that opportunity. And then we, we face McCullers, who's really good. Um, but we were able to get out there and, and, and not let him settle. We were able to let, you know, let our approaches take over, understand we couldn't miss pitches in the zone. His sliders is one of his best pitches. His curveball is one of his best pitches. So we were trying to jump on him as early as possible, um, and we were able to do that tonight and, and get ahead. Uh, were you surprised to see, first of all, McCullers come out again after he get, he had such a uh, such a rough three innings, and and at the same time, how excited were you to see the poise that that Suarez showed today? In, in his first World Series game? No, I'm, I'm not shocked. I, I know that they have faith in him, right? I mean, just like anybody else, they have faith in their guys. They have faith in them to go out there and, and be the best they can. And, um, you know, I think McCullers, he's, he's really good, and they have the faith in him to do that. Uh, Suarez, on the other hand, he's so much fun to watch. <laughs> he's nasty. He's just, he goes out there and pitches. There, there's no moment too big for him. Uh, there's no opportunity too big for him. Um, I mean, you can see it on the ground balls when he gets, they get hit back to him. He's just like nonchalant about it. But that's just him. I mean, there's no heartbeat. Um, and he just goes out there and, and pitches his best game every time he goes out. Listen, I want to ask this, and this is big for me, because one thing that I've noticed in BP, you guys seem to have a feel, seem to have a vibration of just confidence, no panic, no worry. You know, how much does what you guys went through the, during the beginning of the season, getting to this point, playing good baseball down the stretch, where do you guys get that confidence from, that swag? I talked to Nick last night, and you guys are a confident group, an upbeat group. There seems a little, be a little bit less uh, anxiety when I watch you guys than, I, than the other team right now. Where does that come from? Yeah, I mean, veterans, right? Like, yeah. I mean, we're all 30 to 31 years old, and those are our <laughs> veterans, right? So, I mean, we come in every single day ready to play, ready to go. If you look at JT Romito, right, he's played every single game this postseason. Incredible. Yeah. And that's a veteran on our team, right? So, I mean, it's, it's great to see guys wanting to come in, wanting to play, wanting to work hard, and, and wanting to have fun as well. And then we kind of let our young guys just do their thing. Love let it. them be themselves, because at the end of the day, we want them to come up in those big, those big moments, those big opportunities, and understand that we have all the faith in the world in them to go do it, just like Brandon Marsh tonight. Every single guy that comes into our clubhouse is family. We all try to go out in there and have as much fun as we can, but also we're here to work. We're here to play. We're here to have fun. Um, and we're here to win, you know, and, and Rob Thompson always preaches, you know, it takes 26 guys, it takes the whole clubhouse, uh, passing the baton, doing the things we can to win games no matter what. So 
we got two more to go, and you know we're we're really excited to be able to, to have that opportunity going tomorrow night. You Let couldn't watch this game on Fox like we all could, and the cameras picked you up sharing information with some of your teammates. And Dusty Baker was asked about it. He said, you're very astute. You're a student of the game. You pick things up. Uh, were you able to pick things up tonight with Lance McCullers on the mound? And was that part of what was shared to your team? I think as, as a bunch, we just had really good at-bats. I mean, we went up there and, you know, any information that we have, we were just trying to do the best thing possible to get everybody that information. Um, if that's swinging at the first pitch, if that's, you know, getting deep into account, if that's taking a pitch at a certain time, Whatever we can do to help our team win, one through nine, that's all that matters, and you know that's what we're going to do. That Nick Castellanos catch really got things rolling, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's incredible this guy making plays. Hey, this Bryce, thank you loud, so much, man. You, man. Yeah. This was an awesome scene to watch, and that home run was gigantic. Bryce Harper, he is that guy. He's that guy. <laughs> He's been that guy for, for a so long much. time. Thank you, Bryce. We appreciate your time. Have a great yes, one. Yes, sir. Congratulations. There you have him, star of the Philadelphia Phillies, getting it done.